Is there a project that really stands out to you when I, when I say that and it's like, whether it be good or bad, that you're like, oh, f this is a great story? <laughs> well, you know, I remember in 1990 when we started a forest a subdivision called Forest Creek. Like I was telling you earlier, we're, we learned how not to do things, right? So that one really stands out a lot. And, you know, for anybody that's going into land development, you know, you get a real learning experience your first time doing it. Yeah. It ends up being a lot more expensive than you thought it was going to be. So by the time you get to your second one, and our second uh, big land development project was Granite Ridge, and it went very well. But the first one didn't go so well. It was also bad timing. You know, we, it was 1990 and there was a bit of a recession. So they, it hit us hard. But, you know, we learned, like I said earlier, we learned what not to do. We learned how not to buy it, you know, with heavy interest rates. We learned how not to sell it. You know, we sold it to people with interest free and, you know, just lots of lots of silly mistakes and learned how not to develop it. You know, you develop a whole subdivision and you register the whole thing and now you go to say the lots aren't selling now your taxes are up on those lots so though that was and it was a real learning curve on that one and well you know we're looking at uh we have lots of irons in the fire for a future subdivision so the one that i'm most excited about is the one i haven't done yet so i have a i have a some some big projects in mind right now and we're hoping that uh they go well and you know you're talking about going into a global recession right now. And so it kind of makes you, makes us all worry a little bit, but Kavanaugh construction is not participating in the recession. So. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty <laughs> savage thing to say. I like that. Um, yeah, that, that was one of the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, um, was just the, you know, the state of the, the economy and, and kind of like, where do you, you see it headed? And I guess, you know, protecting, you don't, you don't have to give away all your details, but like, what does a construction company, I guess, you know, that's in the industry right now do to protect themselves from, I just feel like there's uncertainty, you know, like there's still a ton of work out there, like a shit ton of work out there, but there's uncertainty, which is always like that overwhelming. Like I know for me, I've been in the hospital twice in the past year with a fibrillation just because I sit in my bed at night sometimes just grinding my gears, right? Just like what the, it's going to happen here, you know? Um, and maybe that, that's just my own thing, but what does someone do? Like looking at the account, like, what do you think? Like, do you, do you fold up and like, okay, let's play it safe. Do you go balls to the wall? What, what, what's kind of your thinking? Well, every situation is obviously a little bit different, but, uh, you know, don't worry about things that are out of your control. You know, you can control yourself and what you're, uh, you're able to do with your staff or your, your company. And, you know, we try and obviously, you know, line up as much work for a year out or six months out or however, however far you can, people will wait or, you know, or sometimes it just takes that long to get the permits for a lot of these jobs. But, you know, there's no, uh, there's, I don't know if there's a right answer, but, you know, obviously you want to, you know, if we're going into inflationary times, money in the bank's not good because it'll be, it'll buy you less tomorrow. However, if we're going into a recession, you may be able to buy something for half price tomorrow. So it's, they're talking about, you know, about people are talking about both sides of their mouth, right? Inflation, recession. And I mean, obviously you want to, uh, I don't know the saying is keep your powder dry. You want to keep some money for, uh, for a rainy day. You want to be able to make sure you can make your payments. And on the other hand, line up as much work as you can for the future.